एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो डू यू आर बी टॉकिंग अबाउट मून इन द फर्स्ट हाउस इन टॉर्स मीनिंग इफ योर मून इज इन द लग्न इट सेल्फ एंड इट इज टॉरस दैन वॉट इट मीन्स बिफोर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मून साइंस और मून इन डिफरेंट हाउसेज वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द मून एंड इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस ओके सो वॉट इज मून एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट मून इज आर इनर वर्ल्ड आर इनहेरेंट नेचर आर ट्रू बींग आर इमोशंस द वे वी परसीव एंड रिस्पॉन्ड इमोशनली इट रिप्रजेंट्स मादर वाटर नरिशमेंट फूड एंड ऑल्सो आर चाइल्ड हुड इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड आर मून बिकॉज इट हेल्प्स वन टू नो वाई वन रियक्ट्स आर बिहेव्स आर थिंग्स इन अ सर्टन मैनर आर मेंटल सेटअप आर मेंटल हेल्थ आर इमोशनल नीड्स हाउ द चाइल्ड हुड ऑफ दैट पर्सन वॉज वेदर वन रिसीव्ड प्रॉपर नरिशमेंट और नॉट and what is one's relation with one's mother or how one's mother is and a lot more the moon is our emotional intelligence and mercury our brain in the world we live in stress levels are increasing such that we don't even realize how superficial our lives have become one or the other person around us suffer from some mental health issues society is not going to get sensitive or empathetic all of a sudden or i doubt even in decades it is us who will have to help ourselves so understanding the true self begins with the moon and not just lagna so is there a difference between moon sign and rising sign yes lagna or rising sign shows your identity personality characteristics but how you think respond feel what you desire etc is seen through moon sign okay Now before we move ahead if you find my videos helpful please subscribe my channel it motivates me to keep making more such videos for you for consultations you can drop me an email okay so let's begin now moon in the house of taurus okay in the first house in taurus this is the exaltation sign for moon and moon is really happy here it is a moon trigon sign for moon people watching my videos must have known i'm little biased to was Taurians yes i love them so why let's know that okay now if you are a taurus moon you are very calm and composed even in terrible situations your personality is very charming and face very attractive you are a happy gentle and easy going person unless provoked you don't lose your temper often unless you are irked to a highest level then you pile up your emotions and uh, and the other person will have to face the wrath of you one day when you can't hold up any more okay it bursts out like a volcano okay because you are piling up piling up the emotions are you know you are not uh, expressing your emotions at that moment you are someone who likes everything to be well analyzed so you take your time to emotionally invest yourself into someone so you are slow to say yes to someone for you love means something peaceful serene secure and honest you don't like drama in your life you are happy with good food good music good company at a good location dinner dates for you can be simple things good food soothing music and some deep conversations with the right partner you don't like fancy candlelight dinners or expensive gifts now not that you don't enjoy but you don't crave it you are very slow to commit but once you say yes to any relationship that means you will always stay loyal to that person you are down to earth kind and dependable people can trust you without second thoughts but you are also very strict about people who hurt you such that you will never forgive them for you once someone has broken your trust you are never going to believe them no matter how many times that person apologized you okay you would forgive someone if he is honest and reveals that he uh, reveals the truth like uh, he likes someone else rather than hiding and cheating which will be a not acceptable thing for you and you will never forgive them so earning the uh, trust of a taurus is very hard and must be treasured at all cost taurians never forgive okay taurians are mostly a home body you may appear lazy but you are very hard working and you 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 have everything planned out okay and you know what needs to be done but when you but you are just you know going it very slow and uh, consistent okay you are not very um 
you don't do anything uh, in an impulse okay hastily you take your time you're very graceful and feminine even if you are a male there will be some traits of it you love being in nature you're very romantic at your heart you're someone who loves cuddles and hugs more than the sweaty make out sessions for you pleasure means more than sex you want to care you want to nurture you want to pamper those close to you and vice versa you are empathetic sensitive and compassionate towards every creation of the universe comfort is something that you love and compromise is something is that you hate you cannot be manipulated or persuaded by anyone easily you always rely on your intuitions and that is what you should always do you are the most patient sign of all the zodiac signs okay talking about your mother okay because moon represents mother so when moon is in the first house mother has a great influence on you now this moon is in taurus so your mother will be a great influence in your life she will be a hard working woman who loves cares and nurtures you she will be always protect you unless afflictions this placement shows a good mother and a good relationship with her you will also gain from your mother however because it is a trick bhava lord okay third house lord either you can suffer because of your mother unintentionally okay or your mother may have faced lot of problems in her life including because of you or you know it could be that both the cases exist okay then moon is exalted in taurus okay it is considered the exalted position of moon moon is very happy here because moon finds the stability the uh, security of earth okay or the taurus your moon finds the balance the strength and stability of earth when water falls on earth what happens there is growth right similarly it makes one emotionally strong well balanced uh, practical stubborn calm graceful and reliable they are very dependable person exaltation enhances the qualities of moon the nurturing the caring the nourishment the pampering the emotions the sensitivity the motherly aspect is all enhanced along with the taurus earthiness so stability practicality and know how of finances because taurus is a sign of finance it represents the wealth it represents the security materialist uh, materialistic desires this makes a person a lover of good things along with a realistic thinking you are naturally drawn to aesthetic and artistic things in life okay now one more thing uh, that we need to address here is taurus for you moon rules your third house and it is placed in your lagna itself almost 11 places away this makes you uh, th- this makes you say what you feel you reveal your emotions clearly there is transparency along with the mystery that makes you attractive to other gender you won't reveal your true self to others unless you trust that person completely so many people may know you but may not know you okay you can be good in writing and communication you will be very courageous and hard working person however you are also blunt so many people may not like your straight forward approach and their ego may get hurt depending on other factors this can also make someone feel lonely or isolated winning any battles or arguments or any uh, you know debates can boost your confidence and courage libra is the most trigon sign of your lord venus you will also get a good looking partner if you are not having any bad uh, aspects or any afflictions in your chart you may be very particular about how you want things and people may think of this uh, uh, a so called a perfectionist attitude as arrogance okay but it's okay okay it is how you are and it is good to be yourself than fake it however since moon is a trikabhava lord so this moon will not have a, only a positive result for you despite the exaltation 
you will have mental health issues problems because of emotional attachment relationships may exhaust you relationships may drain you you will suffer from emotional peace and happiness and a lack of love lack of happiness this may be either at uh, at a peak level at a high level or at a low level like occasionally uh, you may feel this gloominess or you know things like that but this will be there okay this foundation will be there because it is a trig power lord see when trig power is associated problems will be there okay it won't be easy the complete good results won't be uh, won't materialize okay however you will fight back every problems in your life you will be a self made person okay uh, no matter what you are doing you will whatever you have done it would be because of your own self efforts and you will rely mostly on your self efforts you can influence someone with your words communication can be very important in your relationship as well okay and uh, you can also be a businessman with this placement as houses third fourth and seventh are connected okay then taurus you are ruled by venus venus and moon share a neutral relation with each other both venus and moon are benefics and gentle planets however venus is dana guru shukrachari the god of uh, uh, this evil okay so relationships can be emotionally exhausting for you you may not get the love you deserve the care the support you want from your relationships may lack okay may not uh, uh, you you may not receive that you may feel that you are not getting what you are putting it out there okay this again depends on other placements but uh, this can be there okay moving ahead to positives and what you should treasure that is your beautiful nature you should always treasure that your calmness your composed gentle kind practical nature stable uh, you know your courage your brave uh, uh, brave um approach towards anything in life uh, the comforting nature of yours loyal reliable dependability uh, well analyzed decisions and actions your financial know-how and simple desires and needs all these things your nature you should treasure them it's, it's beautiful okay and what are the negatives and what you need to work on and discard the urge to feel supported by others yes this is there the stubbornness and the emotional grudges you hold yes you carry a lot of past emotional baggages okay you are potential enough to walk the independent path but sometimes because of relationships okay you you let go of it okay they hold you down okay because of relationships sometimes you have to let go of things that you desire it may happen and you may do it voluntarily like uh, 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 by your own choice which is not which is not good uh, okay because you are not happy doing that so uh, protect yourself love protect your um, uh, this um, happiness okay you, you are not responsible for others happiness okay but your own remember that okay so you need to and also you need to leave that uh your stubbornness okay your uh, belief system that also you need to leave and you also need to move on from your past okay so these are the negatives of uh, this placement okay so yeah that was it i hope it resonated with you do like share and subscribe comment below your thoughts until we meet next time take care